Hey everyone, Michael here. Today, I wanted to talk about an issue that I've been having with PS4 9.00 jailbreak and dumping my original game disc. So obviously, I've tried things, you know, such as going to the web exploit page and clicking on the app dumper application. I've even tried injecting the payload directly from another computer, the app dumper.bin file, in order to get a successful dump. I have been unable to get a successful dump outside of using this method. And this method is what I want to share with you today. It's called FTP dump. And what this is going to do is, is that this is going to dump your entire game disk via FTP directly onto your hard disk. So you won't need anything such as like a USB drive, etc. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and jump into it and see how to do this. So first off, you need to go to the URL that I have listed above. It'll also be into the description. And I would start by clicking on where it says the code and then go down to where it says download zip. Okay, so now that you've got that downloaded, Go ahead and switch open your Windows Explorer, or you're just going to right-click this and just go on ahead and extract it. I just left the default names here. It really doesn't matter. Go into that folder, and then there's going to be another folder you're going to need to get into. And what we're the most interested in is going to be this .bat file. So Windows has batch files that can run commands automatically for you. In this instance, it needs access to something called the Windows Subsystem for Linux. You will need to have something such as the Windows Subsystem for Linux installed on your computer. It's very easy to install. And then what I did was I installed Ubuntu. Another additional app that you may want is the Windows Terminal. It just makes things a little bit easier. But that part of it's totally up to you. Okay, so I am going to grab the directory that I'm currently working out of. This is just a kind of a quick tip. You can just click up here in the address bar and then control C, or you can use the mouse combo. Okay, with the Windows terminal, I'm just gonna do CD and navigate to that directory. Now I can just type a quick DIR and I can see what exactly is in that directory, which is just these three files. Now, let's go ahead and let's look at the syntax to dump our PlayStation 4 disk. I just did FTP dump dot bat 10.0.0.111. That's my PS4's IP address. And you'll see that it starts calling the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now, what you'll see here is it says that it could not connect to the FTP server. Again, I'm leaving in some of these errors to hopefully show you what happens and how to fix some of these issues. So it says that there is not an FTP server, but we need one to be running. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So switch back over to your PlayStation 4 and we are going to go back to our web browser. And again, this is the host that I've been using. You can go up to where it says FTP and it says this is a full FTP server. So we get our payload screen and now we're running the FTP server, which is great. But don't leave your PS4 just yet. You're going to need to do one other thing. And that is go ahead and back out and run the actual game. So I've got my game installed. And this is just Madden 21. And this is the screen you're going to need to basically leave running. So have the disc inserted and the game running. Now we're going to switch back over to our PC. Okay, switching back over to our PC. Again, I just ran that same exact command that I ran before. Okay, and you'll see now it says something like dumping the app data. This is saying this is 33 gigabytes. Okay, and so this is a very lengthy process. Um, the best results that you're probably gonna get is by using ethernet and plugging it directly in the back of your PlayStation 4, as well as in your computer but I have been 100% successful with this method. And okay, I went ahead and I sped up the rest of this video, so let's see what this looks like. So as I scroll down through this, you can see where it says stuff like extracting the trophy files, replacing the trophy with an unencrypted version, and now it's moving on over to the patch data. 
And once it finishes with the patch part, we can also make another one of these just for the patch. Okay, so back over on our computer, we can see that there is the app that we just dumped. And what we can do is we can look at the properties of it. We can see that it's still right around that 31.2 gigabyte, which matches up to how big the game should be. Now we need to switch over to the tools. Again, these are provided in the description as well. And we need to run gen gp4.exe. I typically run these as administrator. So I would suggest that you do the same. And once that's loaded up, we're just going to need to select that directory where we extracted the game. In my case, it's just going to be in this FTP dump dot main. And then we're going to go to the app and we're going to select OK. This process doesn't take very long, uh, but go ahead and hit generate GP4. And once this is complete, you're just going to save that GP4 in the same directory as we've been working out of. Okay, let's go back over to our tools list. And this time we're going to go into the fake PKG tools. And we're going to run this file called Orbis Pub Gen. So run this one as an administrator. You're going to go to open. Once you go to open, you're going to select that GP4 file. Go over to where it says build here. And, and sometimes what I do here is I'll put a check where it says that the package can be modified. This will allow us to come back into it later if we need to, to add or to remove files from it. Let's go ahead and let's select our output path. In this, I'm also going to leave the default name. And we're going to click on build. Okay, so this is another example where it's going to take quite a bit of time in order to compile the image. Okay, once it is finally done here, you will see this message saying that it has completed successfully. And now we have our fresh PKG that we're going to use to install this game against. Go ahead and take that game and then copy it. And then we're just going to put it on a USB stick here. So I'm going to paste that image onto my USB stick. And once this is complete, you're going to need to take that stick and then put it inside of your PlayStation 4's USB port. So back over on our PlayStation 4, this is where the game disc was inserted, um, as you can see with the little icon here. And so what we want to do is we want to delete the DVD version that is already installed. So we'll just simply click on our options. We'll go down here. We'll go to delete. And we're going to hit OK. All right. Once that's complete, let's head back over to our settings and then gold hand. And let's go to package installer. And we're going to select that Madden package that we just finished building. Again, this takes a little bit of time. But once this is complete, you should be able to go and start up your game. Okay, it's complete. And we can go back and we should see our game again. And this time it will not have the disk icon. As you can see right there, the disk icon is missing. Okay, so now we should be able to launch the game properly. Okay, there it goes, and it is also starting to download the patch for this game as well. And just before we wrap up here, I just wanted to say this process doesn't work all the time. There's a number of different types of errors that you may see others get or that you may get with trying to rip your own PS4 games. The process, though, for taking this game and copying it to your hard disk via the FTP program that I showed today is flawless. So you are getting at least a good dump. There may be some options that you have to play with in the package manager. Well, that's it. Take care, each and every one of you. I will see you on the next one. Michael, out.